What's going on guys, Josh Doyle here, back with another video. I know it's been a while, but um, I've been extremely busy wrapping up a handful of projects, and now that they're all done, I have more time so I can actually sit down and show you guys the results of these projects. These aren't just projected, uh, you know, projections at this point, it's actually completed projects that we've taken from start to finish, and uh, I wanna show you guys some of the things we've been up to. So. The topic of today is going to be this triplex that you see uh, in front of you here. Um, we picked up this triplex. I'll get into the numbers at the end, uh, or sorry, halfway through. I just wanna show you guys what we actually picked up and what we did to it. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the before photos here. Like I said, it, it was a triplex. Um, we kept it as a triplex. It had this basement that was just brutal. Um, needed to be gutted, of course, and rebuilt, as you can see. Um, this was a unit at one point in time, okay? So um, apparently they had major water issues or something, and we went in there, we fixed the place back up and made it look good again. So that is the basement. Uh, let's show you guys the main floor. This place had two out of the three units were occupied, and one unit was vacant. So I only had to, only had to deal, deal with two tenants, but I did. I went in there, I dealt with uh, the main floor, had a terrible tenant in it. Um, as you guys can see, this is how they left the place. Water leaking everywhere, um, stuff, there were pests, they had multiple dogs, um, other animals. It stunk so bad in there, guys. Like they just treated it terribly. Some of these photos, as you can see, like we, you know, we started gutting the place. But um, you can see the general condition, right? It was all original for the most part. That that kitchen there, you know, was a little newer, but a lot of original stuff left over. I was able to go in there and negotiate with them. Um, you know, relocated them, which was great. This is the second floor unit that was actually vacant when we bought it. It wasn't in the worst shape, but it wasn't to the level that I like to renovate to. So I ripped out that old gross kitchen and the carpet and uh you know and the bathroom there and we redid it oh a little bit of a zoom in there and so we redid everything um and i'll show you the attic so the attic actually had a lady in there that was living there for 18 years okay so you know a lot of people were looking and she was paying 550 bucks a month so a lot of people they were looking at this project they're like i'm not taking this on because that lady ain't going nowhere well i looked at it and said listen this lady is elderly and she's got to go, you know, like she's got to go to a retirement home. This isn't even safe for her anymore. So I took over the property and I negotiated with her. I actually, we ended up paying her um, first and last month's rent to help her relocate to a retirement home. And I paid for her U-Haul uh, to relocate her as well. Oh, and I paid for movers. So she was not left to do anything on her own. Um, fully took care of this lady from start to, to finish. She was extremely happy. She was a chain smoker, okay, that, she, that smoked up in this attic. And you can see here on the walls, she had all these pictures and stuff, and you can see the outline of the pictures, okay? So um, very rough condition, guys. Um, yeah, just not a very nice looking place, okay? And it did not smell good either. So let me show you the basement. Um, a little bit of a wow factor, you know, in suite washer and dryer in these units, great. Uh, you can see stainless steel appliances, new paint, floors, doors, paint, trim, all that good stuff. Made it look fantastic again. Hot water heater, all new electrical, plumbing, you know, just the whole nine guys. Um, you know, made the place shine again. Uh, let me see, main floor. This is pretty impressive. If you can remember the, the fireplace in the first picture, a little bit of paint goes a long way. Uh, just, you know, really made the place look good. Brand new kitchens, guys. Subway backsplash, new appliances. Look at that bathroom. Beautiful. And I'll show you two more photos here or two more. Let's go to the second floor because I am pretty proud of how that turned out as well. The whole place just was sharp by the end of it, okay? Brand new kitchen in all units, just top to bottom renovation, okay? And I will show you the attic unit where the lady was smoking the, it was crazy hard to get that smoke out of there. Um, but here we go, here's her bathroom, still call it her bathroom. 
Um, stairs going up and where is the photo? So uh, there it is. So, you know, there's the living room that was all smoke stained. We actually ended up having to paint the ceilings. If you guys notice the ceilings, the same color as the wall, because the smoke, the nicotine just kept on coming through the white ceilings, which was just insane. So we just said, you know what? Screw it. After like four coats of white paint, paint the ceilings, the same color as the walls still ended up looking good. Most people don't even realize like the tenants I have in there now didn't even know that the ceiling was the same color. So there's a tip for you guys. If you can't get the smoke, if the smoke just keeps coming through, let's paint it the same color. Okay. Into the numbers. Cause I know this is what you guys were all here waiting for. Okay. So, um, seller wanted $680,000 for the property. They didn't get it. We ended up negotiating. I got the deal for 580,000. So $100,000 under asking price. I secured the deal for myself and my joint venture partners. They were extremely happy because that was definitely a below market value. But even at that price, I think a lot of people were scared away and, uh, and probably wouldn't touch it because the two existing tenants were paying so little that, uh, it, the numbers just didn't make sense. Like they had to leave to, for this to be a profitable deal. Okay. Um, and this is what I specialize, specialize in guys. It's number one, finding value add deals, dealing with stubborn tenants. And, uh, you know, basically just, uh, I know how to spot opportunity. Okay. And of course I have the teams, the lawyers, the contractors, the, all that stuff. So anyways, we took out a first mortgage on this property for $464,000, 30 year amortization. And the interest rate at the time was high, right? Like we had, this is only eight months ago, but the, like this was the best option for us, um, you know, based on our partner's financing and et cetera, I had to get these terms, okay? So we took a 3.5% mortgage. Um, it was just a one year term open. So it was basically just for us to go in there, renovate, do what we had to do, and then refinance out, which I'll talk to you guys about in a second. Our mortgage payment was just under $2,700 a month. Um, there was no rental income coming in because I vacated the place very quickly. Um, the S or sorry, the renovation budget, not estimated. The final amount did come in at $185,000. Our down payment was 116, you know, a little bit of closing costs, holding costs while the place was vacant. And we put in, you know, just over $316,000 into this place. Okay. So that was our, you know, roughly our total invested capital. Uh, the after repair value guys. Okay. So we went and got this place appraised. It came in at $902,000. Um, this was two months ago. This project start to finish was roughly, you know, six to seven months. I know for a fact that if I went back, cause I've actually refinanced multiple properties since this one, if I went back and refinance this one right now, it would easily come in over a million dollars. Okay. So at 900,000, that's very conservative. There's still a ton of equity left in this deal that uh, I may just speak to my partners about going back and you know, getting another payday. So anyways, keep you guys updated on that. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, or you guys should follow me on Instagram, my handle is Josh Doyle Invest, okay? I'm just throwing that out there. So the equity increase at 902, we actually increased the value of the asset $322,000, which is fantastic. We got a new force first mortgage on the property for 680,000. Okay. So we took that, we paid off the first mortgage and then the, the proceeds that were left to basically come back to us was $257,000. Okay. So we invested 316 and within six, seven months, the bank gave us back 257. So, um, you know, that basically means that we left in just shy of $59,000. Okay. So, that is a massive return in a very short period of time, uh, especially when you're dealt with a handful of headaches that the average person doesn't know how to deal with, doesn't have the time to deal with, and quite frankly, most people are scared to deal with. So that's why I, you know, that's what I, this is what I do. Um, anyways, guys, so what we did was we rented out the main floor and the basement as one unit. I put two kitchens in, so one on each floor, two washer dryers. Essentially, it was two two bath or sorry, two two bedroom units, right? Basically, completely separate. But I rented them out as one unit to a big family, and I got twenty eight hundred dollars. Um, 
plus $50 for parking. So the main floor is paying me $28.50. The second floor one bedroom unit is paying uh, us $1,300. And the attic unit that the lady was paying $550 is now paying us $1,300. Okay, so major increases in rent here, guys. This is what I do. I go into assets that are trash and I turn them into cash. Okay, so um, our total gross rent is actually $54.50 every single month. Our new mortgage payment uh, on the $680,000, I was able to get us a 1.49% interest rate, okay? So fantastic, essentially free money. Our, our mortgage payment is only $28.76 a month. So jumping down here, guys, into the expenses, I'm not gonna go line item per line item, but if you guys want, pause the video. You can take a look at what I have here for all the line items. But two things I do want to bring up is that I put aside 5% for maintenance every single month. And I put aside um, 3% for vacancy every single month as well. Even though vacancy rates are in Hamilton basically zero, I do put money aside because I like to be conservative with my numbers and make sure that we are you know, all safe and above board. But... Uh, you know, so essentially I'm putting aside $437 every single month just from those two line items on top of, that's my poor attempt at a drum roll, um, $13.11 a month cash flow. So let's just add that in, $13.11. So we have a total surplus of basically positive income going into our bank account of $1,748 every single month. Okay, and we only have, you know, fifty nine thousand dollars invested in the deal. So let's just multiply this number by twelve, right, to get an annualized amount. So every year we're bringing in just under twenty one thousand dollars in total, um, you know, basically cash profits. Well, minus of course maintenance that happens throughout the year. But let's just say we're bringing in twenty one thousand dollars, and we only have. Let's divide that by how much capital that we actually have invested in the property after seven months of being in this deal, that is a 35% return on our money left in the deal, okay? After we've already got back 80% of our money within seven months. So fantastic deal. Um, you do not get these type of investments uh, sitting out everywhere. Like you, you gotta make, you gotta add value to deals. You gotta be able to be creative, seek out opportunity and know, you know, when, when you spot opportunity. But anyways, um, I have a little calculation off here onto the side. Uh, if you evaluate this property based on a cap rate, okay, at a 5% cap rate, which investors now in Hamilton are paying 4% cap rates for turnkey properties like this that have tenants in place, people are paying a 4%, okay? But at a 5% cap rate, this property is evaluated at... Um, at $1 million, okay? At a 4% cap rate, let's just for fun, I wanna see what this would be. $1.25 million, okay? And I have a mortgage on it for 680,000. So um, extremely conservative with where we are with our loan to value. I'm very happy with our cash you know, flow position at the end of this project. I know for sure my partners are extremely happy with this one. Um, if that, And that's basically it, guys. If you guys like this style of video, please let me know in the comment section below. If there's anything else you would like me to talk about or you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And also let me know if you would like me to run through the numbers on my other projects that I just recently completed because they actually look better than this one, believe it or not. So um, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you like this, please smash that like button. And of course, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, guys, take care.